wonderful humans and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had good New Year's Eves and festive breaks and feel all refreshed. And I thought as it's a new year, I'm gonna do a video on my academic goals for 2021. So let's get on with the video. So I'm actually not one to set New Year's resolutions, but I do think goal setting is a really great way to stay motivated. Check out the video I did on how to stay motivated as, as a PhD student. I'll leave a little linky up here somewhere. And that's why I want to set goals for 2021. Now with these goals, I'm not necessarily challenging myself or setting super unrealistic ones that are then I'm just never gonna meet and discourage me. These are meant to just keep me on track, keep me motivated and help me see how I'm progressing during my PhD, especially during the second year, which is notoriously harder and more difficult to stay motivated during. And it's a well-known like slump year for PhD students. So my first academic goal of 2021 is I want to have written a published article. Now, I do have an article already in the works, so as I said, this isn't completely unrealistic, but there's still a lot of work to do. I need to finish writing it, obviously then you have to send it to a journal and there'll be an editing process and they have to accept it. But I think it's realistic to hope that maybe I'll have a published article by the end of 2021 and that's obviously something that as a PhD student is really important to do and is often kind of prioritized as one of the things you should try and achieve before the end of your PhD is have a published article out there. So that is my number one goal for 2021, academic wise. Now, number two is I want to speak at a conference. Now, I should probably caveat this a little bit because I have spoken at events and I've, you know, been in part of organizing events and, you know, inviting speakers and hosting them and then speaking at events and doing round tables and all that kind of stuff. But I want to speak at a conference that will add to my academic CV. I want to speak at a conference that is well known outside of maybe UOB, the University of Birmingham sphere or kind of influence and in particular I have done a few applications to speak at various conferences one of them is the PCA so let's motivate some good energy and hope my application gets approved but it would be just amazing to get my work out there and get some feedback on it see what the responses are like and I don't know talk about my work to a wider audience people who are familiar with romance but maybe aren't familiar with me because obviously everyone I've spoken to at the moment about my research is either very familiar with me or is kind of in my little sphere of PhD students so it'd be interesting to get feedback from I suppose more established academics within the romance field more established academics within any field that you know they feel relates to my work so that's my second goal as I said again it's not completely unrealistic because I have to be putting applications in but just because I've put an application in doesn't guarantee that I will get accepted so this is something I want to work on this year and make sure I'm attending the conference as a speaker and I think it's possible but I'm going to manifest good energy and put it out into the universe <laughs> so I'm very hokey pokey right now but you know there's nothing wrong with hedging your bets and manifesting some energy Okay, so goal number three is a little bit more on me and I want to have completely finished, is the word I'm gonna say, completely finished my first chapter of my PhD. Now the reason I'm sort of joking about being completely finished is I think in reality you won't completely finish a chapter until you are doing your final final draft to submit for your viva and even then it's highly likely you'll get a few changes, hopefully no big changes. But it would be good to have a chapter finished to the point where both me and my supervisors are happy with it and I can kind of put it on the back burner until I need to come and do those kind of final edits and final read throughs before I submit for my Viva, before I submit my PhD completely, my thesis completely, sorry. So that's one of the goals I'd like to do this year. I think also this is a goal I've set very deliberately because it would keep me on track. If I have that completely finished and I'm sort of midway through maybe a second chapter, then that kind of is a good place to be in my second year as a PhD student. That's obviously something that a lot of people say, yeah, if you're roughly at that stage at about halfway through your PhD, you're on track. So that's why I'd quite like to finish uh, my, a, a chapter. I'm calling it my first chapter. The chapter I'm actually thinking of will be the second chapter probably of my thesis. And it's all about the quid body 
and how bodies have been both represented or presented or portrayed in queer romances and what this says, are they heteronormative, are they not, do they challenge, do they conform? And I find it a really interesting topic, so I'm excited to get writing it, but it has taken a bit of a backseat because of my data work, which you all know about. So that brings me very nicely onto point number four, which is I would like to have completed my data collection by the end of 2021. Now the reason I'm saying data collection is because I think it'd be unrealistic to say that I've completed all my data work, or that I've analysed all of it, or that I've written it all up, but I think it is realistic to say I've completed collecting all my data. And by this I mean I've finished kind of cataloguing all the published books and the publishing houses I'm targeting, I will have finished my surveys, I will have finished my kind of focus groups and my interviews, and I think that would put me in a good place if by the end of 2021 all of that is collected and completed then that gives me a really good stead and a really good amount of time to kind of start analyzing and working this into my thesis in a more substantial way. Now again, although I'm saying this is a goal for 2021, I would actually really like to have all of my data collected kind of by July time, but we will see how it goes and if it takes a bit longer that's okay, but this is definitely something that I want kind of done before I start my third year of my PhD, so September time. But I'm gonna set it as an academic goal for 2021 and we shall see how it goes. And the final goal that I want to achieve by the end of 2021 is sort of a goal I've touched on before, but I would love to be kind of done my first draft of the second chapter. At the moment, it's looking likely that my second chapter will probably be on queer families and found family and the idea of family within queer romance novels. That's looking likely to be my third chapter slash the second one I work on. Or I might go back and finish my first chapter, which I have already partly written. And that's more a history of LGBT romances and kind of the state of publishing and how I'm defining like what is meant by a queer romance? What does it mean by a gay romance? What does it mean by an FF romance? So that's sort of why my first chapter sort of is is a chapter but it's shorter and it's a bit of a different thing um so whether it will be yes i have kind of done a first trial for that or whether it will be oh yes i'm going to start on my next kind of big analytical chapter i'm not sure but i would like to be at the stage where by the end of 2021 so december 2021 i am kind of finished with the first draft of that because i think that'll put me in a really good stead at the start of my academic year because remember with these, although I'm setting goals for 2021, the academic year runs a little different, which is why it can be a bit confusing. But I think that would be a really good place. And then hopefully with the data collected, if I've got one chapter done already, I've finished the first half of the second one, I should be in a really good place, kind of at the start of my third year to just go and achieve all the things. So yeah, um, that's about it really. I only want to set five goals. I don't want to push myself too hard because as I said, I think it's important to set goals on your motivation yourself that seem a little big and a little large, but are also achievable. And I think these can be nicely broken down and they will just structure my next kind of year and structure a large portion of my academic year. And I think that'll be really good and a really motivating factor. And I'm kind of committed to them now, right? Like they're gonna be on the internet. So go stick to them. But I hope this video looks okay because I've changed the setup slightly. I will find out in editing, I guess, whether it worked or not. But as always, I love hearing from you. So if you want to share your academic goals down below, feel free. If you want to send me a Instagram message because you have a question or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And as always, like and subscribe, all that jazz if you like this video. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.